Hi there, so I just wanted to do a quick video, show you how to set up a lightning storm uh, using Robotank. So if we go to the display here, um, we'll see a settings button and weather. And here's all our options for the weather uh, for this lightning show. So if we hit cloud target, we'll get uh, all the levels. And this is what uh, the lights will dim to when the storm starts. So you can see that the tank uh, got dim and you adjust it to whatever you like. Then we've got other settings, and here we can see lightning strike intensity. We've got a low level and a high level. Um, you select whatever you like there, and that's how bright your lightning will be. It chooses the value between those two. Um, one nice thing is if it's nighttime and you're running the moon mode and your tank is dark, obviously there's no nothing to dim to. Um, so the controller will, and you don't want bright lightning at that point because your lights are off. Um, so the controller will work around only the low level um, setting so you'll get uh, very dim so to speak uh, lightning at night so your fish won't be freaked out but you definitely know it's lightning um, here we've got time between lightning strikes so for the purpose of the demo I'll have it set uh, so it strikes no later than 10 seconds and our cloud duration, 0 to 1 minutes. That's how long it'll take to dim before the storm uh, actually starts. Uh, if we go back to here, we've got our length of storm. So the storm's going to be 1 minute to 2 minutes. And here we've got the select channels for our lightning strikes. So if we had a lightning or red light, say, on channel 11, well, we don't want red lightning, so we turn that off. And just turn on the ones we want uh, to actually flash. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14, 15, and 16 selected there. Um, so yeah, let's go back to our home page. And we'll hit storm. And you'll see that it's clouding over. And our lights will now start fading here. I would have showed you the night storm. I actually like it better when it's pitch black and you get a little bit of lightning but it doesn't show up too well on the camera, so we'll do it this way here. So on the display there in the bottom corner, you can see that it still says uh, it's clouding over. And once it's done, there you go, you get a different icon. So I'll just back up and let you see the show. So when it hits two channels, the timing and intensity is different. So one side might be bright and the next might be low. Doesn't seem to bother my fish too much, which is nice. So that's a little brighter than I would like. Um, it, wasn't as bright as what you see on the screen there, but uh, it was, so I would just turn down my setting a little bit. So as you can see, with a little bit of playing, you can really get a nice effect. Just need to add some sound to it. A little bit of rain. As you can see, that's a tight little crew in the tank there. This fish loaf schooling back and forth. And the red ones, they kind of just hang out and on patrol. Looks like this storm is going to be around the two minute mark. It's chosen a high level. I did a couple of videos before this one and the storm only lasted a few seconds. <laughs> so there you can see it's clearing. It'll tell us that on the display and back to mid sun. So there you go. With a little bit of creativity, you can make a nice looking storm. Thanks for watching.